incredible three-pound wrinkled mass is the control center for the entire body. <laughs> Did you hear that, Raticus? A three-pound brain? No wonder those imbeciles are no match for me. My brain weighs in at a whopping seven and a half pounds. It's massive, even by normal genius standards. Luckily, you've got a nice, huge head to hold it in. I mean, you have a nice big head. Convenient for storing things like brains and various other knickknacks. Electrical signals from different parts of your brain control different parts of your body. So when your body moves, it's because your brain is telling it to do so. Oh, oh then, then how come my body does stuff like breathing without me telling it to? Good question, friend. Hmm. The brain controls two types of actions, voluntary and involuntary. Voluntary actions are things that you think about and tell your body to do. Like when I pick my nose? Uh, yes, Fred. Especially like when you pick your nose. Uh, Ruby, are you okay? You don't look so well. Involuntary actions are things you do automatically, without giving them any thought. They tend to be things your body must do constantly to survive, even while you're sleeping. <laughs> things like breathing, blinking... Whoa! And your heartbeat are examples of involuntary actions. Oh, yes, Fred. That, too, could be considered involuntary. Uh, yes, Ruby. Uh, 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 oh. <gasps> what? What happened? You fainted, but don't worry. Nurse Cutlip will be with you in a second. Scalpel, decaf latte, rib spreaders. We're losing him. 120 cc's of hydrochloric mid oxidamine. Stat! Clear! <laughs> Blows him up. This boy will live to see another recess. You know what, Lydia? I feel better already. Not so fast. Nurse Cutlip hasn't even seen you yet. <gasps> mm. I've been a school nurse for 20 years now, and I still can't get used to the senseless carnage of checkers. So, what can I do for you two? <gasps> Nothing! I feel fine! We'll see you later! Ruby's not feeling well. She passed out in class. Oh, dear. Open. Ah. Uh huh. Close. Hmm. Well, these tests are inconclusive. I guess we'll need to perform an exploratory lobotomy. A lobotomy? For a stomachache? Isn't that a little extreme? A stomachache? That's all you have? Stomachaches can be caused by a number of things. Have you changed anything in your normal, everyday routine? Or eaten any different foods that may have upset your stomach? No, everything's been pretty normal. Just the usual staying up every night till 2 in the morning, watching the lifestyles of the rich and shameless, eating chips and ice cream. Ruby, my dear child, you have to start taking better care of your body. Hello, Nurse Cutlip. We just came by to see how Ruby's feeling. You're just in time oh. for a little health lesson, boys. Uh, b but, uh, we just came from a health lesson. Don't tell me we're going to have to re-watch that wonderful World of Brand film strip. As I was saying, you must get eight to ten hours of sleep every night in addition to regular exercise. Your body also needs a well-balanced diet. It should consist of meats, cheeses, poultry and fish, fruits and vegetables, as well as breads and cereal. How absurd! The human body doesn't need rest, exercise and a balanced diet. Take me, for example, Raticus. Do I exercise? Does getting up to grab the remote count? No, then no. Have I eaten a vegetable raw or cooked in the last seven years? Do corn dogs count? No, then no. In spite of the lack of exercise, sleep, and vegetables, I have remained the picture of health, the perfect human specimen. Ah! Oh, I think I pulled something. Is it possible to pull fat? Oh, Radicus, quickly, help me! Good work, Radicus. The human body needs rest, exercise, and a healthy diet to stay healthy. The human body produces white blood cells to fight off germs. They're the body's protectors. But if you're not healthy, those white blood cells become weak 
and you can become sickly. Weak and sickly? Ha! Why, my body is a well-oiled machine! Right, Phantom? I can see all the oil on your face right now. But maybe that Nurse Fat Lip Lady has a point. You do look a little, uh, soft around the middle. <laughs> <clears throat> You're mistaken, Raticus. I am in tip-top physical condition. Take care of your body. And you should look something like this. Oh. Something to aspire to. Neglect your body, and you may look something like this. <laughs> What? Ah, that's me! Well, you 20 years ago, you put on a little weight since then. No! I'm in excellent shape! And I'll prove it. I'll turn Flying Rhino Junior High into me, my body. Then everyone will bear witness to the remarkable inner workings of a perfect human specimen. <laughs> Either the school band got a new kettle drum, or I'd say we're in big trouble. Where in the world are we? It looks like the inside of a human body. Boys and girls, we couldn't have asked for better timing. I was about to lecture on the human digestive system. Instead, follow me to the exciting and aromatic world of the lower colon. <laughs> what is Earl up to this time? Yeah, this place is smelly and gross, but it doesn't seem to be very dangerous. I don't get it, Phantom. How can they be inside your body if you're here? Oh, it's quite simple, really. The EnviroMaster has reconfigured the molecular structure of the school to my particular DNA makeup. In effect, in effect in transforming the school into, school into an, an inner, inner manifestation of my body, body, thus allowing us to view my physiological form both without and within. And within. Just trust me on this one, okay? Yeah, you got it. Uh-oh. I have some bad news, guys. According to the DNA scan I just ran, we aren't just in any body. We're in Earl P. Sidebottom's body. My jerky! My jerky! Come on! Oh. Give me back my jerky! Keep away! Oh. Who or what are those? Give me back my jerky! Keep away! Keep away! Keep away. Ah. Hey, leave him alone! Keep away, hey, keep away. give me back my hat. Keep you away. leave Billy keep alone. Away. Yeah. Keep away. <laughs> hey, give me back my friend. Incredible. You're not going to believe this. These things are germs. Giant germs. <laughs> uh, aren't those germs in your body, Phantom? <laughs> Gee, Phantom, you don't look so good. Maybe you should crawl into bed and get some rest. Of course, the bed was just a suggestion. I'm sure the rock-hard, ice-cold floor is probably just as good. <laughs> you weenies are trespassing on germ turf. Yeah, and you know what we do to trespassers. Let them off with a written warning? Afraid not. Ah, look out! He's got chicken soup! That's right. And I'm not afraid to use it. Yeah! Way yeah. to go! Yeah. Yeah. You may have stopped us this time, but this ain't over. This body is our turf now. Yeah, we'll settle this later. Rumble at high noon in Cellulite Canyon. Winner rules the turf. And if you don't show up, We'll come looking for you! Whoa, that was close. Uh, 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 Joe! Yes, that was close. But we haven't beaten them yet. We have to figure out a way to get rid of those germs. Hopefully without resorting to a rumble. Yeah. Well, I don't know what a rumble is, but it uh, sounds kind of uh, painful. Ah, uh, phew! Uh, I don't feel so well. Neither do I. My eyes are itchy and watery. Uh, uh, oh, oh no! Don't you see? We've all been infected by those germs. Oh. Of course. They're making us sick. 
Uh, my sneezing. Uh, uh, my sore throat. In my terrible <coughs> gas. Uh, every second we spend in this body will make us sicker and sicker. <coughs> We'd better figure out a way to beat those germs and fast. But they're too big and <coughs> strong. I've got it. Remember what Nurse Cutlip said? White blood cells are the body's protectors. All we have to do is find Earl's white blood cells and have them help us get rid of the germs. Brilliant! Excellent! All right. I, I think I've located the white blood cells. They're in a room just down this hall. Now, how's my sick little fan feet? Uh, I think this... The thermometer doesn't go in there. You're a dear friend, Phantom, but there's no way I'm putting the thermometer in that other place. Ah! Huh? You have no pulse! Ah! Mouth you to mouth! Mouth to mouth! Oh, not the... Oh! the head bone's connected to the foot bone. The foot bone's connected to the... The trombone. <laughs> um, uh, according to my mini megabyte, uh, the white blood cells are located right beyond this door. <laughs> you guys are the white blood cells? Yep. <laughs> what can we do for you? Well, we were kind of hoping you could help us get rid of some germs. Oh. <laughs> We'd love to. But this Earl guy has taken such poor care of his body. <laughs> that we don't have enough strength to help you. Sorry. Great. What do we do now? I, I think I spotted some pretty good hiding places on the way here. No, we're not going to hide. We're going to beat those germs. But how? Look at these white blood cells. <laughs> we'll use the information Nurse Cutlip told us about being healthy to whip these guys into shape. What do you say? Yes! yes! What do you say? Yeah. Alrighty. And one and kick and two and jump. Come on, work those pasty white things. The face bones connected to the butt bone. The butt bones connected to the uh, ham bone. Fred, the... that trampoline you're jumping on seems to be some kind of internal organ. Now, what kind of organ could be this springy? <laughs> According to my mini megamind, the bladder. A well-balanced meal should have you guys feeling great in no time. Hey, you're in training, remember? This is no time to be eating sweets. What is it? Chicken soup? Close. It's cockroach chowder. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> it's my mother's recipe. Yep. Smooth going down, smooth coming up. You guys need to get some rest. We haven't been able to sleep for days. <sighs> We're suffering from insomnia. Don't worry. Once Principal Mulligan starts telling you stories about the good old days, you'll be sleeping in no time. <gasps> Joe! I don't know about this, Lydia. We didn't have much time to get those white blood cells into shape. Quit worrying. The white blood cells should be able to handle those germs. <gasps> All right! Let's rumble! <gasps> We're at a runty little wimps! We're gonna twist into pretzels! Yeah, where are the runty little wimps that are gonna twist into pretzels? Time to bring on the white blood cells, Marcus! Time to bring on the white blood cells, Billy! Uh, I, I don't know where they are. Last time I saw them, they were with Fred. Oh, oh no! no. Supposed to take a laugh that the uvula. <laughs> if you just 
<laughs> Give the white blood cells a little more time. I'm sure they'll be here shortly. Ah, oh, that's all right. We'll just start with you guys. <laughs> hmm. Raticus, I'm torn. On one hand, I would love to see O'Toole and his pee-wee sidekick squashed like the vermin they are. On the other hand, if those kids defeat the germs, I may once again become the picture of good health. Didn't I just empty that bedpan? <laughs> the toe bone's connected to the fish bone. The fish bone's connected to the, the, the nose bone. The nose bone's connected to the T-bone. Sorry we're late. We were detained in the lungs. Well, it's about time. Once we beat ya, this body is ours! Hope you germs packed your bags, because the white blood cells are taking back their turf! Yeah! All right. Oh! <laughs> 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 Couldn't have done it without your help. Let's hear it for the white blood cells. Yeah! Actually, our friends call us leukocytes. Leukocytes! 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 Raticus, I feel remarkable. So good, in fact, that I plan on maintaining this morph forever. With those pesky <laughs> children helping maintain my immune system, I won't ever have to eat right, sleep well, or exercise again! Uh, what do you mean, again? Okay, I won't have to start eating right, sleeping well, or exercising. Hey, what's going on? We defeated the germs. The school should be turning back to normal. <laughs> you don't understand. The germs are gone, but now Earl is the strongest he's ever been. Blood pressure is down, heart rate is strong, and... There's a nice pinkish hue in the cheeks. You mean by defeating the germs, we actually made Earl stronger? I'm afraid so. If only we could figure out how he did this. If only we could get inside his head. Hey, that's it. Ah! We can get inside his head. To the brain. Quick, Raticus, we've got to stop them. I'll head them off with the pass, ah! Anthem. Oh, Raticus, get your finger out of my nose. Here we are. The brain. Control central. This area commands the entire body. Affections, growth, body temperature, motor function, thought, and even sleep. Electrical impulses between nerve cells in the brain, called neurons, cause the body to act and react. This neuron's connected to the... Foot muscle. This neuron's connected to the... Butt muscle. Huh? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh. I... Hey, Phantom. I didn't know you could dance. <laughs> Whoa! what I like to see. Plates full of healthy, well-balanced foods. <coughs> if you keep eating like this, those colds will disappear in no time. You are absolutely right, Nurse Cutlip. We've learned a valuable lesson. If you take good care of your body, it will take good care of you. And I bet even Earl learned a little something about healthy living. <laughs> Sam, 
Man, do you think I could take a little break? Rackatus, I have learned a valuable lesson today, and that is, if I am to be in tip-top condition, there has to be a lot more exercising done around here. Now, come on, Raticus. Lift those knees. Feel the burn. We aren't going to get into shape if you just stand there. 